Okay. We're good? <laughs> this is RadioOnFire.com, giving you more talk, more news, and more music. I go by the name of Dabba K, and I'm joined, finally, by the lovely Miss Sweet Tea. How are you? I'm awesome. Where have you been? Waiting on you. Okay. Well, you know, uh, I'm working on my time management and, um, and all of these type of things. Uh, but it's good for us to sit down, uh, finally. First time this summer? Yes. Well, we saw each other in May. Yeah, that's true. I, yeah, that's true. I don't, I don't know what we happened. We just didn't record. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, it's, it's good to be here. Uh, a couple of things I want to talk about. Mainly, I want to talk about the Confederate flag uh, debacle, controversy, issue. Um, what, what are your thoughts first on the Confederate flag? Racism. It, re- it represents racism. Okay, I'll give you that. And um, I, do, I think it's time for them to let it go. I think it's time for them to let it go. I mean, a lot of people say, like historians say, it doesn't really mean racism. It's just like the racist taking that flag and use it for that. Okay. That's probably right. That's right. probably right. Um, so here, here's my thing, okay? It's offensive to African Americans the confederate flag i think it's offensive to any race that's not white okay but primarily it's offensive to african americans because Because of the slavery slavery to south right that that whole thing now i know you've been places where you've seen like the pickup trucks and the and the good old boys and the rednecks with the confederate flag like in the back of the window does that bother you no not really um i mean it, it to me, I don't have a problem with it either. If somebody wants to have a Confederate flag, they can have a Confederate flag. The problem that I have is if the government, if it's at a government building, like in some places in the South, it's a part of their right, they you have know, state hanging. flag. Yeah. That, I have a problem with that. I have a problem with, like, as I said, a close friend of my neighbor has hung their Confederate flag. All of a sudden, this Confederate issue is going on, so they decided that they were going to hang their Confederate flag. So your friend has a Confederate flag? No, her neighbors. Okay, her neighbors. Okay. Which are white, and she's black, and they've given her a hard time. Is this in Baltimore? Yes. All right, so... Towson. Okay. So they've been giving her a hard time ever since she's moved there. So now that we're having this Confederate flag issue, they decided they're just going to hang up a Confederate flag to show so support. She can see it every time she comes in her house to show support. Okay. I mean, you know, I don't have a problem with Who that. Who are they showing support to? They're they're showing support for the Southern good old boy. You don't even live in the Southern. This is a slave state. A, no, this was a, a slave part. state. If if slavery when slavery's going down and we was running for the border. Maryland, we wasn't safe. We still had to we had to go to like Delaware, you know. Yeah, we wasn't safe. There were slaves here. Side note, my youngest sister Shanae, her first apartment. Okay, this is going to sound crazy. So it used to be a slave. It used to be a slave hideout. Yeah, no, no, not a hideout. It was a plantation. Like the apartment building that she lived in, that she lived in was a plantation. That's spooky. It's and there were ghosts in there. I believe. I it. felt them. Yeah. I believe it. So I did not like this place at all. It had that kind of weird feeling. Another place that rubs me the wrong way, and this is probably going to sound crazy, Lexington Market. Okay, so, you know, Lexington Market is where they took slaves and where the stores are. Like, st- slaves stood up on those For things. For the audience that don't live in Baltimore, yeah. that's downtown Baltimore. It's like... You can get like peanuts and deli Food, sandwiches, yeah, crabs, yeah. and stuff. But like Lexington that. Market is, you know, slaves came in the har- the inner harbor, and they took them. Lexington Market was one of the places where the masters went to, and the white people went. I don't like to say masters, where the white people went to to buy slaves. Well, did you know John Hopkins has an underground? Yes, yes. Cause so he, he didn't believe in slavery. Yes, so it's he just, made tunnels yes, yes. for them to get to Fells Point to the water. Right, it's crazy. <laughs> but uh, so in, in the Confederacy, the Confederate flag was the, and I'm not going to say that it doesn't represent racism because it really does. Because 
the Confederate flag was the flag when the southern states tried to break away from the Union and how we have the, the stars and stripes flag that we use. They were using the Confederate flag as the flag for the South right. that wanted to have slaves, and that was their flag. Right. Um, and then a lot of those southern states incorporated the Confederate flag into their state flag. Right. And a lot of them still have that up, you know, the NVA and just so, courthouse and stuff like that. So I was at work. And this was in Bel Air, Maryland, and we had a patient come in with a Confederate flag shirt, a white guy. Okay. One of the techs asked him, what's that, that, sh- what that shirt? What does that mean to you? So he was kind of shocked that she asked she him. She was black? Yeah. Nice. Asked him what it meant to him. And he was like, I wasn't brought up that way. So but, he knew what it meant. Right. But she says, okay, then why are you wearing it? What does it represent? He was like, I'm I I'm not a racist. I'm just prejudiced against all other races that don't want to work hard for for anything. Okay. And I can I'm respect like, that. A lot of what? white people a lot of white people have that misconception. Now, let's keep it real. A lot of black people and white people are lazy. It's lazy I don't know if it's lazy Asians, but <laughs> if they no, oh, I haven't I've seen never them. Met a lazy and Asian. I, have you have you met a lazy uh, Hispanic. <laughs> no, I haven't. Me either. Have you? Lazy uh, Spanish person? No? Do you know any Spanish people? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, you do? Have you met a lazy one? Yeah. You met a lazy one? Yeah? Are you lazy? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, but there is definitely people that take advantage of the system, take advantage of uh, public assistance and we cannot deny that that happens with white people but the fact of the matter is there are more white people getting public assistance than black people because there are more white people in this country than black people you know that right no with the minority the Everything, people, everywhere is not like Baltimore. Turn, white people are turning the minority across the country the Hispanic race is taking over and the mixed race well, I mean, the mixed race. Everybody's mixed. Okay. <laughs> and I, I said this before. You know, they got mad at the one girl uh, uh, that said she was white from the NAACP. Um, or said she was black or whatever. Uh, everybody's black. Okay. All well, all civilization comes from thing, Africa. Why, so was, let's, why was everyone mad, though? Um, the African-American race should have been happy that somebody wanted to be just I said like that. them. Because that don't happen That's, too often. It doesn't, and they should be. It's proud. usually a black person, trying quote unquote, to trying white. to be white. It's very rare. Well, I mean, well, I mean, you got you got the white rappers that the want to be black, but I'm saying it's very rare that you have. It's very rare. But y'all usually don't like that. Like there, there's a couple white girls that I've seen that they, they want to be down, and the black girls don't like that shit. Because it's like be yourself. Okay, so then be you yourself. can't. Then you gotta be mad at the racial girl then from the NAACP. Be, 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 be yourself. If you wanna be white, but you got a lot of black friends, still just be yourself. Like I hate when I go out and I see. I don't hate it, but I've noticed that when I see like a total white bread white guy, he's with the blackest bitch. I swear, like Earth Mother Earth hair. <laughs> I haven't like, seen that before. And then Ooh, when I I'm see, lying. I have right, seen that. They yeah. always have like the white white guys always have the earthy black girl. And then when yeah. it's with the the white guy that thinks he's black, he always have the most ratchet black girlfriend. Like As tracks all the As way down, long should. fingernails. I was in because the other day. That's what their black experience is. He thinks he thinks that. It's <laughs> <His> black experience. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you had a white girl? Don't pay him any mind. I was going to say, me too. I have to. Um, so, what? have you seen a black person with a Confederate flag? Yes, I have. She was on the news the other day. You need to Google it. She was on the news see. the other day. See, she's, she's trying to be north, white. She's too. trying to be white. She's, up, she's <laughs> from up north, and she moved down to the south. And she's saying that the people up north are rude, and we're obnoxious, That's true. and we don't have good hospitality. And when she came down south, they embraced her, and she... Where's her Confederate flag like it was tattooed on her heart or some crap? Okay, like that. that's... I don't know about that. but um, <laughs> uh, so, so let me say this. I, I feel as though out of the government that it needs to be out because it's offensive. And 
it may not be offensive to to white people, and the white people that wear it or support it or raise it may not be racist. However, it is a very sore spot for a lot of people of color, and because it is, we should get rid of that. The the, the sports teams' names, like the Redskins, um, I think the Braves are offensive to uh, Native American people, and we got to let that go. Um, the Nazi flag, the, the swastika, right. is offensive to Jewish people. It is. Um, and, you know, you got to let that go. I always tell people, like, slavery, like, we got sold or whatever and we got beat. But, like, Hitler really, he tried to kill, like, he tried to take their whole race out. They took a lot of them out. Now, we lost we lost hundreds of thousands of people. Right. But, but he, they he lost millions. millions. Like, he put them in showers and it did smoke, like, killing gas. Mass like, graves. And yeah. He couldn't kill them fast enough. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. What was wrong with him? Definitely, definitely. I mean, his because his but mustache. Even, anybody he, whose mustache is like that is just not. Even, yeah, um, it's not. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> yeah, we gotta take this one there. E, I'm recording. Can I call you back? Well, actually, we're streaming live, but yeah, and, um, <laughs> and I'm streaming live. <laughs> Lovely, okay. you know. So, so remember, you were talking about the um. The, the the white guy that was with the most ratchet black girl. Yes. Remember the white girl you dated? She was like what gothic. She was her though. She didn't change over. <laughs> Why'd you have to free that? Up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. She. Okay. So now I have to explain myself. She was gothic. Um. Yes. She was gothic. However, you know the weird thing is is that when they take their clothes off. It's just regular, you know what I mean? It's just regular. You sure? That, yeah, I seen it. Yeah. You, you know what I didn't like about her? Everything was fine. I mean, okay, her father was a racist and <laughs> and he seemed like the type that would have a Confederate flag. I told you and I I've talked about her before, but she I had to pick her up around the corner from right. my house. Um and you know, under no circumstances was I allowed to meet her family and I was completely fine with that. Uh, if her father knew the things that she did with me, he would have a heart attack. I'm sure. He would kick her out the family. He would kick, yeah, he would kick, kick her <laughs> nigga loving ass out the family. <laughs> no. But, uh, you know, I didn't, the problem that I had with her is that she did not mesh well with Devon. Oh. Yeah, it just, it just they didn't click well, and it, at that time. I'm not gonna say just at that time, but it just they didn't click well, and that, I, her days was numbered. Her days was yeah. She didn't speak. I, she didn't speak well to him, uh. and like yeah. So to me, it's 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 a funny line. So when you're yelling, or you need to discipline someone else's child, is is a tricky thing. And to, someone else literally like not my child, somebody else's child, because it wasn't even my child, but um, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Well, at the time, I thought it was. So, he was jumping on the bed. And I think I must have been in another room. Obviously, I was in another room. He's jumping on the bed, and she was in the room, and I guess she was telling him not to jump on the bed. Right. And I told him not to jump on the bed. So, he right. almost fell off the bed, and the way that she said, stop jumping on the bed, mm -hmm. was, just like, was the no. end. Yeah. I was just like, I can't leave her alone with him, because... I just I did not know what she would do. Or, oh my god! Yeah, so I was like, "Oh, I'm uncomfortable." If right. I, you know, if, if I tell his mother about this, right? She, I'm gonna ride on this. Me and my husband keep that stuff separate. Like it's tricky though. But it, see, that's it is. It's, though. it's hard though. But y'all are married. But it's still hard. It's still hard. I mean, he's, he's like, "I'm gonna call your mother." I was just like, "What?" Like, it's can he raise hard. his voice? Like he he doesn't raise his voice hardly ever. But I mean. He he disciplines him in a good way and manner, but it's kind of it's hard. Does he have kids? He has kids. Yeah. So what? How do you how do you handle that? I keep. He has teenagers, so oh, okay. You know, I be like, I mind's my business. So you don't mind's say nothing. My business. Mm -mm. You be like, I ain't gonna tell your father you pregnant. <laughs> I just mind my business. <laughs> like his daughter wanted grills. Nice. And she wanted her nose pierced, but he okay. doesn't like none of that stuff. I don't even wear my piercing around him because he doesn't like it. So he's like, "Does not come through your nose." No, like it doesn't come through your, okay. your nose. So he was like, 
Trini wants to get her nose pierced, and that's a absolutely no. And I'm like, you know, she's getting older. So you on her side. Herself. You want to be the because, cool mom. No, but I'm just like, some of the things that she, you, she wants to express herself, like if she wants, she see Beyonce, you know, and Rihanna wearing the things and stuff like that. Juicy J. Did you say Juicy J? He got him. He got him. Did you say Juicy J? <laughs> she want to be like Juicy J. No. <laughs> No. All right, so so uh, what if she wanted to get um, butt shots? She wanted to be like, you know, Kay Michelle or Nicki Minaj. That's a different topic at a different age. Like, if okay. she's over 21. So she can't get butt shots. Can she get a tattoo? At her age now? Yep. No, he's definitely not letting her get no tattoo. Well, he, I don't think he'll ever be cool if with If my that. daughter asks for one, I would have let her get one. I got my first tattoo at 17, so I will let Lyric get one at 17. She's 18 now, and she never asked for one. So. But she's just going to get it. What she need to ask you for? She got no, a call. she's not into that. She got a call. Right, so she but I'm she's just... not into that. She's, she's scared of needles and stuff like that. So. Yeah, okay. Okay. But if she asked me at like 16 or 17, I would have let her I let So she, her she, um, she's a, uh, what's the word I want to say? She's she, conservative. She conservative. That's not the word I want to say. What? She is, uh, <laughs> she has multiracial friends. Who my daughter? She's cultured. Yeah, that's she's it. Very, that's, she's very, cultured. She's very cultured. So I'm sure she's probably seen some Confederate flags at her friend's <laughs> house because I, 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 I seen her she's with. Very cultured. I, I seen but her with the whitest too, girl I've right. seen on that side of Rogers Avenue. Red hair. <laughs> right. That was, that was a really well, white girl. Because you know, Lyric's dad is mixed. He, and her dad is white and black. So okay. Her well, there you have white, it. Her grandfather is black. No. I, I, what was, it's, it all makes sense. Someone thought it was two white girls sitting at the table. They were like, who are those two white chicks that I, are sitting at the table? I thought that too. I'm about to kick you out. <laughs> I really am. I'm about to kick he, you he's out. He's ready to make another appearance. Okay, so so here's the thing. Okay, so so bringing the whole thing full circle. Confederate flag needs to go. We, we agree on that? Yeah. Um, as a so, white and, person and, who's not Who's, who doesn't have a racial tone with it and look at it as something of the South and just being, uh, I, I don't know, proud of Alabama or wherever it is that they're from. Um, you know. I understand that. Just yeah. like we're Jamaican and we hang our Jamaican flag up and, and stuff like that. You're, you're, um, you're pretty cultured too. So you have uh, a... You're a light-skinned Jamaican, which <laughs> I very rarely see. Uh, you're a light-skinned Jamaican who has a child by a mixed gentleman. Right. My dad had my head for it, though. We you talked got, about that. Yeah, but that's kind of, that's, that's different. <laughs> it's different. First of all, the fact that you're a light-skinned Jamaican is different right there. Why? Because we have J Chinese Jamaicans. We have so many different races. No. Yes. <laughs> the girl that won that music show, she was Chinese Jamaican. What? She was Chinese Jamaican. Who are we talking about right On now? On The Voice. The girl that won The oh, Voice. Oh, I don't watch that. Okay, I got you. She was Jamaican, but she was just Chinese. And they speak Jamaican. They I think don't she speak was, I think she was faking Jamaican. You know what? I think she was faking Jamaican, but it, it's all right. It's, it's different races in Jamaican. Clearly, white clearly. So it's just, it's uh, but like, and it, yours kind of comes and goes. So it's like when you're around just regular Americans, <laughs> you just, you have regular, but when you get around Jamaican people, I'd be like, well, who the hell? You know, it's just you <laughs> licking off shots with your finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. American dog. Yeah, yeah. That's right, right. That's okay. All right. So, um, so that's that's my thoughts on that. Uh, but definitely let us know your thoughts on the Confederate flag. Of course, white people are going to say that agree with that. Are going to be like, this is some bullshit. You know, it's not about. <laughs> you know, it's not about that. But I mean, you, you know, you got to let it go. You you think you're mad about the flag? They was mad when President Obama got in office. They can't wait for him to get out of there. Yeah, and, and he can't wait to be gone either. I'm he sure can't. he got some other stuff to do. And that's why he's just like breaking all the rules. You know he's letting people in the White House take pictures. No one has allowed that to ever happen. Yeah, well, I mean. So now you can Instagram, like when you get in the White House, you can Instagram that you in the White House taking pictures. But it wasn't, it wasn't Instagram when Ronald Reagan was there. It was no such thing. That's why you couldn't do it. Well, when Bush was in office, it was Facebook. 
It was MySpace. Was it MySpace, Facebook? It was MySpace. Was yeah, yeah we, we didn't have smartphones. You know we had right. Nextels. <laughs> Remember the ringtones? Where you at? <laughs> Remember the ringtones? Yeah, uh, we were talking about this the other day. I had Fifty Cent. Dun, dun. Yeah, but you but this was those analog tones and it, it just it ain't sound good like that. It was like the number two was like dun, dun, So what do you think dun, about yeah. Donald Trump? Um Okay, so here's the thing about Donald Trump. I was actually Donald Trump is talks so reckless. <laughs> and the stuff that he was saying about President Obama, he wanted to see his birth certificate and all that. I was angry with Donald Trump. Now prior to that, I liked Donald Trump. Um, I bought several of his books, which my father reminds me of all the time. <laughs> and uh, Donald Trump was on wrestling. Like, I liked Donald Trump. Now, when President Obama was coming to office and he really started talking crazy, it made me not like Donald Trump. Right. Now, I respect Donald Trump. He's smart. Now, here's what's scary about Donald Trump. He has a lot of money. He does not need to get endorsements or sponsors That's how I feel. or supporters mm -hmm. so he can say whatever he wants to say. That part's dangerous because the other pilot, but I've, I've changed my view on him actually in the last week. Now, because he has his own money, he can say what he feels. Mm -hmm. And what's crazy is, is, is most people look at that as being bad, but now I look at it as being good mm -hmm. because politicians normally lie. And the reason why they lie is because of special interest groups that support them. I got to say this because these people gave me right, money. Right. And I got to say this because they gave me money. Right. And I got to serve all these masters. And then when you get into office, you know, you can't really do the things that you said because the people that gave you the money are the people that you do stuff for, right. not the voters. Right. So they lie. Unfortunately or fortunately, I'm going to say fortunately, <laughs> Donald Trump is not lying. Right. The stuff that he's saying is the stuff that he feels. Right. And he doesn't and, need any money. And he does. And he said, I don't need none of that money. So he's <laughs> already said that these other people need money. They don't know how to run businesses. I've run businesses. Right. America is a, this is a business. Right. It is a business. Right. And he's, he's, he said what all politicians want to say and want to do, but... But he ain't does, got the balls to say, say it. he does not give a fuck. He said he was going to put up a wall. Like, that was so funny to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so, so now, let, let, me, let me say this. Okay. He talked about the, um, some Mexicans being rapists and, you know, you know, he's real, said that we're real lax on border control. We are. Which we are. We are. And we're paying for it. We are. Now, that's not talking about our um, Spanish, Mexican brothers and sisters that are here. Right. We're talking about there are bad people out there. There are bad black people. There are bad white people. There right. are bad Spanish people, Mexican, Asian. It's, it's bad everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so could he have said it in a more sensitive way? He's yes. not a sensitive person. But he's not a sensitive person. He's being honest. This guy wears the ugliest toupee ever made in America. And can afford and, to and buy right, and a better care. toupee. So, he really like, does not care. I hate it. <laughs> he doesn't hate it. I don't it's know why. It's so ugly. He should get a better one. He should just go and bald. Then I didn't even know he had so much things. Like I didn't know he had his own clothing line. Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, it was amazing. Yeah, he has me. a lot. Pageants, yeah. clothes, um, uh, you know, real estate. Uh, right. Just, you like, know, you, TV people shows. People pull away, but it, he has so much money coming in. He doesn't care. So, but yeah. So, my thing is, is that if he can bring it down a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. He's too turned up. He's too turned up. <laughs> and, and, so, and I'm sure he doesn't listen to his advice. I'm sure you're like, please, just can you, no, mm-mm. Fuck it. You can't cuss, sir. Just, You're fired. Yeah. Get, you know. <laughs> but, um, so, I know the other Republicans are scared to death. They are. You can't even, no one of those guys can have a debate with him. Because he's just going to call them all out. He's going to pull up their skirts. They're going to be like, whoa, you know, we have, he's out. Ah, shut up. You're broke. Right. You know, you're this, you're that. I yeah. remember. And yeah, yeah. And just dangerous. He probably knows half of their business. Dangerous. Um, would I vote for Donald Trump? Is that what you're asking me? I wouldn't. Um, it, uh, we gotta think about this now. So, uh, if you asked me this three weeks ago, you'd be like, hell I would have no. said, hell no. Now, here's the other thing. Okay, so Macy's, NBC, 
uh, what was it? The pageant. Univision cut yeah. cut ties with him. The pageant is his stuff. Right. They cut ties with him. They'll be back. Uh, yeah. So um, <laughs> now when he made his comments about the uh, Spanish people being rapists, and then the, the, the day ball. later, two days later, when the Spanish guy kills this that lady in uh-huh. South, uh, San Francisco, mm-hmm. and he's saying like, "See, I told you." Right. Okay, that kind of tones it down a little bit because right after that, you know, it it's just and he wants to build a wall up. Like the wall of China. Do you have a problem with that? What, him building a wall of China? No, not... Not the wall of of Mexico. (laughs) A lot of yayo ain't going to get through. It'll stop a lot of drugs. It'll stop a lot of drug trafficking also. And a lot of drugs that people claim that are expensive here and they can get it cheaper in Mexico, but these people don't even know what they're really taking. And they're bringing them into the United States. Viagra, stuff like that. Cialis, stuff like that. They don't even know if that stuff is real. It comes from Mexico? They're, yeah, they, they bring it up from Mexico. It's cheaper. Well, you ever seen them, like, them ads like in the newspaper, like, get medicine, you can get a whole bunch yeah. for this low price? Yeah. yeah, it's coming from Mexico. Okay. Well, I just, so you think that we need to tighten up on border security? Yes, they're coming over here like fruit flies. We don't have nowhere to put them. Okay. Okay. Aside from aside from his views on, uh, I'm just saying, come in the legal way. Everybody else has to do it. Come in the legal way. All right, and I agree with that. Uh, I think the jury's still out on Donald Trump. Um, I I'm have voting not, for Hillary. I have not decided. Um, you know, I mean, I, I like Martin O'Malley, which just may sound crazy. I like Are you Martin O'Malley. Serious? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I like Martin O'Malley. Oh, my God. He tore this Baltimore up. Did he? Yes. He's what? a cheater, too. On oh, his wife, you mean? Yes. Okay. So, don't marry uh. him. So, don't his, uh, don't marry Martin O'Malley. He's already married. There you but go. But he don't act like it. Okay. He has he has a thing for black women. He does. So, so do I. We agree. Oh my I'm goodness. voting for him. But, um, you know, uh, can he beat Hillary? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So do you hear that Sheila's going to run again? I wanted to talk about that. And um, I predicted this. Now, <laughs> I predicted that she was running. Okay, she, she, psychic. She popped her head out of the sand around Did the time she? Freddie Gray happened. That was and a I said, good time, sir. I said, wait, wait. Was that Sheila Dixon? Yes. And then she, I started seeing her in multiple places. <laughs> right? And so... Then I started seeing signs. People was hanging up like, yeah, she and looked then, the mayor. <laughs> So when when I was at the Freddie Gray funeral, uh, I was interviewing some people, and I talked to this one lady that I specifically remember, and uh, Sheila Dixon spoke at the funeral, mm-hmm. and she said, "Yeah, when Sheila Dixon got up there, uh, you know, when uh, you know Stephanie Ron's Blake was up there, and people was like, eh, whatever. But when Sheila Dixon got up there, they gave her a standing ovation. Nah. Some, some, some. That's when, when she said when when Mayor uh, Sheila Dixon got up there, I said, oh, oh, oh. Sheila Dixon's not the mayor. She said." She's my man. <laughs> Stephanie Rollins Blake ain't my man. And so I, I said, Baltimore. look, I said, look, lady, she's not the mayor, okay? <laughs> you know, she if she could come back, I'ma vote for it. And and she started popping up and stuff. Right. Popping she up. Talked in an existence. Popping up. And 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 here she is. Um I like Sheila Dixon. My mother's name's Sheila. However, <laughs> however, I wanna and so and me and my mother disagree on this, but she seems to to subscribe to the school of thought that um, Sheila Dixon upset some people, and and uh, they and, framed and they put her, her. Yeah, and they put and, her out there. And yes, other they people did. do what other she's done, are doing and, it's, and it's not that big day. of a deal. Yes, that may be true. It is true. However, maybe. however, if she allowed that to happen to herself, I mean, at the end of the day, she stole gift cards. She stole gift cards. And use them for, you know, just, what do we have, in Target? Like, this is crazy right now. Why would she do that? I have no idea. As much money as she makes, she's so cheap that she's going to be using the gift cards that was made for homeless. uh, But she gave it to people. She gave it to, like, family members and friends. People do that all the time on their jobs. I do not do that. If they give you tickets. At your job or mm-hmm. whatever. Or they giving you a certain amount of tickets and then you have some left over. 
So you're making you ain't excuses for her too. You going to give it to your friends. Um... You have a thousand tickets. Okay. And you gave them to all the people that needed to have them. Okay. You're not going to slip something to your family members? No. And, your and let me tell you why. Okay, let me tell you why. First of all, these were gift cards that were designated for less fortunate families. They got them. Oh, no, no. They didn't. Because <laughs> there are so many people <laughs> in Baltimore that needs them. She could have went oh, down to goodness. Martin Luther King and uh, was at Franklin by that Rite Aid and gave them out to the homeless people with those tents right there. They want to be there. They want to live there. I know. They don't want any gift cards. And, and who's going to let and, them in their store anyway to gonna, use um, the gift cards? They put a gate up. They're trying to get them from out. I think they probably moved them from out there. No, y'all put a gate up, but people's tents were still in the gate. So well, they I put thought- the sign up and said, you, you know, you got to leave. <laughs> I thought they was doing that to protect them. No, no, no. We don't want that. If it's bad for the Orioles fan, the Ravens fans. Um, I thought they was hiding them in the game. Yeah, okay. Uh, so here's my thing. Okay. Sheila Dixon. I want to I wanna be clear on this. People have this affection for Sheila Dixon. I don't know why. But Sheila Dixon is, dramatic pause, a thief. Sheila Dixon is a thief, and not only is she a thief, a lot of politicians are thieves, but she is a careless thief. A careless thief. Okay, if you're going to be, my father always said this, if you're going to get caught doing something, you go to jail for something, he said it better be like, you know, getting a million dollars, two million dollars, it better not be nothing, you know, stupid, like you took $20 out the, the Mick Register or something like that, okay? She did the equivalent. Of taking twenty dollars, thirty dollars out your mic drawer in the mic drive through. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it is. She's so a thief, really? Huh? Um, she had the gift cards, and she used them. And she used. They told them, them to give them, give them to people, and that's what she get did. Get cash next time, Shirley. You should have got cash. She used them for the right reason. Now, she gave them to people. This this presents an opportunity for me to talk about. The person who I am going to vote for, which is Stephanie Rollins Blake. Okay, who I think she is not going to run again. Oh yes, she is. And, and she, if she and runs she again, she is jumped, making a joke. She already jumped out there She's and let joke and let people know because they were asking about this Sheila Dixon shit. No one's so, going to vote for her. She's a I joke. I am. I'm supporting and her. She's going to have one vote, and that's going to be you. Her husband's going to vote for her. Two. Her sis, uh, the well, I don't know if her kids are old enough, but yeah. It's a lot of people that's going to vote for her. Not and <laughs> So she laid it out here. She lost. Before, when Stephanie Rollins Blake inherited this city, this lovely city she that came I on love. She interviews like she was popping she, perks. She, okay, the deficit was all messed up. All recreation centers were closed. Oh, my goodness. And who did this? Sheila O'Malley. Dixon. Sheila Dixon. O'Malley. Sheila Dixon. Why do you say O'Malley. We can't blame it. No, we always trying to blame it on the white man. Let's try to blame it on the white man all the time. This, this town, this town has a lot of black so people in high if positions. If she came in when everything was closed, why the hell she didn't reopen them? Why are they still closed? Okay, unemployment is is is. But she want to build build this jail. Unemployment rates are down from when Sheila Dixon was in office. Oh my goodness. Okay. Stephanie Rollins Blake has done a good job. Now, if Sheila Dixon, and, and this is what I said to several people I've talked to on the streets, if Sheila Dixon was in office doing the Freddie Gray thing, y'all would be talking crazy about her. She would have done the right thing. What's the right thing? Not coming on the air looking like you high on perks. Sheila Dixon looks like she got a bag of sunflower seeds in her purse right now. That's why, you, oh, that's why people like her. Because she's a real, because she's a real... Ratchet she's shit. She's a people person. Oh, I don't think so. You think she's a people person? Obviously, she is. All right. So she was in this is going to be more a than very... your mayor. She was Look, in them streets more than your mayor. I chopped it up with the mayor. Me and the mayor no, are cool. You're the mayor was at. She be in Nordstrom's more than she be doing her job. Look, okay. She wants to look nice. She's lost weight. She I should be an inspiration to people. Bad. You don't think she's lost weight? She uh, uh, I think she's lost weight. Okay, she's so on the airline. <laughs> <laughs> I like to know y'all thoughts. Stephanie Rollins Blake. Sheila, Sheila Dixon. Dixon. Uh, Here's the thing. Y'all just win. Y'all 
the grass is green. Y'all just like it because y'all ain't you seen it in a while. You know this is Baltimore. You know how Baltimore is. We jump on the last thing that's smoking. You know it. Listen. You know it. It w- <laughs> would be a big mistake Sheila. for us to just jump the gun. This I would Baltimore. rather I would rather us get somebody new than who, to bring who, back who's Sheila Dixon. Gonna, who's going to be running other than those two? Oh, there's going to be a lot of people. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people coming out of the woodworks. <laughs> but it's going to be it's going to come down between those two. And let me say this: going into this two, uh, 2016 campaign, it's going to be a dirty, dirty mud slinging race. And I'm so excited because it's going to be like, fight, 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 fight. Because they're going to cover it. Oh, we're definitely going to be. We're going to be everywhere, right there. Presidential race is going to be interesting, too. But the, the race here in Baltimore is going to get ratchet. It's going to be ugly. Yeah. I think I'm too lazy to like, fight. <laughs> <laughs> and I if that happens, I'm still rooting for Sheila Dixon still- to lose. <laughs> I think Sheila can take her. I don't. I don't. I don't. Sheila Dixon is this, and I don't want to disrespect her because I, because they're both black ladies. But if I gotta pick one, I'm gonna pick Stephanie Rollins. You pick Stephanie because yeah. she's younger. I, well, that's part of it, but that's not the only thing. You know what I mean? It's she just, was at the white party, like, what man? Why are you at the white party? Stephanie wouldn't. Uh, Steph, uh, Sheila, I'm sorry, wouldn't I have come to the white party? No, why? Because she would have been invited. Because she ain't down. She, you want uh, when okay, we, and I've talked about this many times. I am going to enter into politics now. When friends of mine from my music days call me and, and ask me to come to a function, sometimes I will come because I'm if I'm the mayor or the city council or whatever I am. You want somebody that's reachable like that. That's what you want. Do you want some stuck up person that's just yeah? It's just no. Her white dress, I didn't even like it all that much. You didn't like her? I ain't like that dress. I'm trying to get her to come through here. Well, I'm not. You gonna do it on your show? Yeah, because I couldn't. I couldn't have nothing. No, because because I'd be like I had Chanel time. Nicole was down there, and she came after she was at the bathroom. Nina B was right there, but <laughs> yeah, so it was yeah. Because my face was like this the whole time. Yeah, hey, I'm like, why y'all hating on her? She was, she was like, cool. It's like, cool. Eh, you lying. Eh, wrong answer. All right, so once again, let us know your thoughts. <laughs> Stephanie Rollins Blake, our current mayor. Sheila for mayor. You know, here's my problem with with uh with, and this is this is the problem with black people. We are so Did you quick. Say black people. Yes, we are so quick hey. to just. Go back to the same old, same old. On. Now, Marion Barry. I'm going to get a rhinestone hat. You know, Marion Barry got back in office yes, after, after that bitch set him up. And was with prostitutes. I so I would not be surprised that. if they say Marion Barry came back after he smoked some coke. And had prostitutes. And had prostitutes that set him up. She only had some gift cards. And, Why oh, not? Didn't he yeah. touch a, that lady too? That Allegedly. Was right? Allegedly. Yeah, he allegedly touched the lady inappropriately. He probably but, did. And they voted he him looked, again. He looked like he, he did. They said he, he was the best person <laughs> But ever. he was really good. Yeah. He was really good. He like just, Sheila. He just had a weak nose. <laughs> a weak nose and a weakness for hoes. <laughs> <laughs> God bless the dead. Okay. All right. So, what? so Whitney Houston's daughter is dead. When did she die? She's been they put in January. Outside. She's been dead a long time. She's been dead since January. Yeah. How do you feel about them finally, you know, trying to take take her off of, um, life support? Uh, she was in hospice. She's yeah. in hospice. Hospice means there's no coming yeah, back. Yeah, so she's not she's not officially dead. Hospice means you want a lifeline, like boop, boop. Is that much time in between? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's unfortunate. But um, Bobby Christina is is the product of a lot of things. Um, I think she's a product of a bad name first. Literally, I, I don't like what, the name. What Bobby Christina? Yeah, I don't I don't like you that. You don't like the name? Um, no. I'm thinking that you're saying that she's a product of a bad name because you know Bobby Brown and stuff like that. No, you no. Don't, literally, you I don't, don't like, like her, her name. name. Yes, oh, my that's the goodness. first problem. 
Now, second problem is that um, you cannot give a child everything. And she is the product and an example of spoiling your child mm -hmm. and literally letting your child do whatever you do. Right. Literally. What do you mean? I do drugs. You do Bridget, drugs. They knew that she was doing drugs and yes. they allowed it yes. at a young age. Where do you think the drugs came they from? Do you think so high all do the time you think, they couldn't watch over. Do you think that Bobby Christina started smoking and doing drugs after Whitney Houston died? Oh, no. Exactly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Exactly. She was doing drugs when Whitney Houston was alive. Where do you think the drugs came from that Bobby Christina got? She did her parents. I'll wait. From her parents because they probably were so high themselves they couldn't recall what was going on. So you're absolutely right. Yes. And... She is a spoiled child, clearly, mm -hmm. and um, people make excuses for her. Mm -hmm. You know, her mother died, you know, father, you know, strained, whatever, all of that kind of stuff. But, mm -hmm. I mean, she didn't have, she never had a chance. Right. She started out with the first with the bad name, <laughs> and second with two parents that had their own demons. Right. And they... Like, if one of the parents was okay and mm -hmm. one of them had demons, mm -hmm. she might have had a better chance. But because both of them mm -hmm. had um, demons, it just, yeah, it just, <laughs> it was a bit. <laughs> no, that was amazing. That was amazing under the table, actually. <laughs> and it missed them, too. Um, yeah, so what, you know, I think that the bigger issue here is that. Nick Gordon had something to do with her death. Right, he did. He did. That's the and I joke about her name, but but in all seriousness, it's, it's a serious issue. She she didn't have a chance because she had two two parents that had demons, um, and a lot of people think that Bobby was the the influencer, but it she actually wasn't. was Whitney. It was Whitney. Whitney was the one, and just because she seemed all you know, she was a good girl. bodyguard yeah. time. She was you know, but she was the one that was. She was the wild one. She was a, she was a cokehead. Yeah. And, um, was crack was whack. Crack was whack. When she said that Bobby Brown was the king of R&B, I knew that the trouble was ahead. I knew trouble was ahead. You knew she was hot yeah. when she said that. Yeah, Bobby Brown. What, what she said, but Bobby Brown looked like, I'm the king of R&B? Yes. <laughs> Me? Bobby! <laughs> Bobby! <laughs> Bobby! <laughs> I, saw, uh, I saw Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown and Bobby Christina in Atlanta uh, during the being the being Bobby Brown mm -hmm. days uh, when they were filming their show, mm -hmm. it was it was a train wreck. I didn't think that it was you know th this was going to happen. I just thought they were just going to always be around, high, just always be around. Dang. I like that show though. It was a train wreck. It was, <laughs> it, was, it, was it was a train wreck. So I it think that this Nick Gordon guy is going down when. When uh, Bobby Christina, um, after they bury her and get all that stuff together, charges are a coming. Right. He's trying to lawyer up right now. He needs to, but he ain't got no money. He got a little bit. Then they faked the marriage. Come on, y'all. Cause that was her brother for real. That was already shady. Like I was getting at her on social media when they quote unquote got married. I was getting at her. That's like how she Brandy. I think she blocked me. Brandy did that stuff too. I think remember she blocked when, me. Yeah. Remember Brandy said she was married and really wasn't married. Yeah. Have you ever done that before? What? Say that? I'm, no. Have you ever done that before? Said you was married and you wasn't. So no. I'm the only one. What do you mean? Like no, when people funny. like hitting on you on the street? Yeah. Have you ever said you were married when you weren't? Oh yeah. That's different. Oh wait wait wait. That's did y'all two just lie? Like right in my face. I like actually had like I a said, fake have match. you ever said? But if if a guy asks you on the street, are you married? And you say no, or you and you married and you say yes and you're not married. Now you it lie. doesn't even matter. It doesn't even That's matter. That's true. That's true. But you have done it. I thought I was the only one. Okay, so yeah. I was out with my girlfriend the other day, and the guy was like trying to talk to her. And he was like, "You." She was like, "I'm married." He was like, "So what days do you cheat?" Oh wow! Did she say Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> she laughed. Laugh, oh, laugh. so he was charming, so she got the number. No. She didn't get she did not give him the number. No, she didn't give the number. Did she give him her social media? No. Good. But my thing is people don't even care if you married or not. Women so, care. When when they women care 
about what? If a man is married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I Since have. When? Okay. I you used probably to get more. Women, I used to carry. If you tell a woman now that you're married, they probably cling on to you more and want you more. Is that is that a fact? Uh, I haven't had that experience. I've had the, the other experience. So my experience has been, uh, I've told women that I was married, and obviously I'm not, and they respected that. Wow. Yeah. C- good kudos for them. Yeah, they respected Guess that. Guess what? Did I tell you that Facebook had blocked my page, shut my page down? No. Nah. Because wow. some freak sent his PP in my inbox again. So that why did they shut your page down? Because I posted it back and tagged them. Oh, <laughs> you can't do that. Why not? You can't. It was a video. Of what? Of him working it? Yes. That was so <laughs> Did you know him? No. Okay, so you were supposed to report him. It looked like you were posting porn. I don't care. I posted him doing what he did and called him out and told him that he was the, you know, my words. That's that. That, you and puppy do that kind of stuff. Like, puppy but why are you too, sending yeah. this in my e- in- inbox? Because he I was told so- him I'm not a porn producer. I'm on the radio station. I don't. I don't. Why are you sending me this? Did you like it? No, I didn't even watch it. How'd you know it was a video? Because it had the minutes okay. on there. Okay. How'd you know what he was doing on there? Because his penis was right oh God. out with was his, his hand, was his hand- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Damn, man. Was he from Baltimore? Where he from? So is your page still shut down? No, they had me go through all this stuff with you. It was just annoying. they had you go through Facebook counseling. <laughs> it pretty much like that. Like here are some other pictures. These are our procedures. Did. Why right. don't you post some of these pictures instead of this dick? <laughs> you don't get inboxes like that with dicks. No, no. Of d- <laughs> like random clip pics. Yeah, no, I don't get clip pics. That is crazy. Clip pics. I mean, if you want to send me some clip pics. <laughs> you would take them? <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't tag you back. In. If, you, if you want to do it, I'm not going to tag you anyway. I'm going to watch. I mean, <laughs> and if it's a video, I will watch. But, <laughs> no, I'm just. Yeah, I don't get, I don't get those kind of pictures. I get, I get random African ladies that say, how are you doing? My name is yeah, you know, Jamila. I have $45 million stuck in bank account trying to come to America. Please help me. <laughs> I will give you money. <laughs> yeah, I get those. I get those every now and then. I live then. in mega conditions. Yes. I, and I get this. And it is, the English is all messed up. Yeah. It is like, yeah. I get, I am beneficiary yeah, of lottery yeah. winnings. Right. But I can't, you know. I cannot what? catch the ticket. Come on now. Please send me your put, social yes, security number. Yes, put your bank number. account number here. <laughs> so I can. Put your social security and your whole name and a picture, I, the right. picture of and your ID. IDs. Please, both sides of your ID. <laughs> so, and yeah. I will send you money. I get that. But you know what I get more than anything? I get. I'm a rapper out of Baltimore, and uh, we, you know, I'm trying to get on. I get that a lot, um, and I uh, give them the email address to forward forward the stuff to. What else do I get a lot of? I get a lot of, hey, how you doing? I see you doing your thing. I always knew you was going to make it. I get that a lot. Really? Yeah. That's nice. I get that a lot. Um, and I get people call asking for favors a lot. I get I get that a lot. They need to come on the show. No, nah, I don't be them kind of famous. It just be literally be like you know. I get a lot of GoFundMe. I get a lot of GoFundMe. Go I call those famous. Yeah. They send me like movie scripts or plays. I you know I don't get that. I the one thing that that, that touched <laughs> and then be me. Like, in can a, you send us <laughs> money to help us? Yeah, I I got that. I got that. This was a crazy for somebody I know. I'm not gonna say his name. So him and I don't even know if it was true or not because he looks so crazy now. So he now he looks like he's getting high. But so when we was in school, he was like one of the cool cool people. So he's a couple years older than me. So you know, it was one of those. Yeah, hey, I see you doing well for yourself right. type of thing. You know, it's okay. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm like, well, why is this so long? Like, why is it a two paragraphs? You know, right. Think it's a couple of sentences. So as I read down, so you, you know, all that recapping, then it was like, yeah, well, on my end, you know, me and my wife got uh, lost our house and this and that. So oh give me this whole sad, goodness. sad story, right? And then so you know, anything that you could do to help out would be appreciated. You know, whatever. So when you get those kind of things, you're like, I don't know. Is you like what is going on? So now let me go look at their pictures. So I look at their pictures, and it's just like it seems like with each picture they're getting thinner. 
and thinner. <laughs> thinner. You know what? Yeah, thinner. No, not like the movie thinner. But someone we but like New Jack City. Did thinner. you see the GoFundMe? Someone we know had a GoFundMe so he can go see his daughter graduate. No. Is a is a music person? Oh wow! Did you did you? <laughs> Hell no! I ain't GoFundMe. Okay. He was mad when he didn't win at the BMAs. Oh. Okay, now, so this is literally somebody who's, yes. I don't want to talk about this, because <laughs> this is somebody literally that I know who was at the BMA. Yeah, you know. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I, 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 I was scrolling down my time. I'm like, really? Oh, he said something about it? Oh, yeah. But then when I saw the GoFundMe, I'm like, really? To get to another state, like, really? You can drive there. That's what you wanted to GoFundMe for. No, he wanted the ticket. I take it. Okay, this is the only question I'm gonna have about it. <laughs> Which city did his daughter graduate from? <laughs> North Carolina. I don't know who it is. Good. I'm glad I don't know who it is. It was either North Carolina or South Carolina. So one of the Carolinas. Yep. Wow. Damn shame what he did to that dog. Um. Okay. So. But uh, he go to work every day, so I don't know. <laughs> he's a musician. I didn't say musician. Oh, he's not a musician. No. Oh. But he's always in the categories for the BMAs. He's been in there more than once? I think so. Is he talented? I mean, he's all right. Okay, he's all right. Okay, well, there you have it. Was his daughter graduating from eighth grade or for high school? No, high school. Oh, dang, so that's it. Oh, because maybe she can go to college. <laughs> maybe. All right, we got to get out of here. <laughs> Anything you need to say before we get out of here? I hope it's not going to be the Dixon winner. Sheila Dixon for mayor! Woo woo! You're going to vote for Sheila Dixon. In Yay! All of she going to give me some gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, let me say this. If, if Sheila Dixon, which she has not done, and I don't know if y'all remember, during the time when the gift cards was going down, she was very ornery. She was very dismissive. Do y'all remember that she didn't want to give? She had to get a raise for herself. You remember when she she took the raise for herself oh and Are you gonna all this kind of yeah. this lady? Because she did a really piss poor job, and she did not even apologize for getting caught with her hand in the cookie jar. Like she did not she even was set a, up. Okay, if you were set up, I'm gonna go with your mother theory. She was set up. Mm -hmm. If that was fine, then you still have to own it. Like you can't come back. Without addressing why she's going you to left. address it, she's going to address it. If she runs, she's going to address it. Yeah, well, her, her campaign is officially launching in uh, September after Labor Day. She said, so we're going to be covering this Every election step. heavy. <laughs> and when Stephanie Rollins Blake is having her uh, party mm -hmm. for I won't be winning there again. You. We will be down be there, broadcasting live, and I want a line of all because the only person here in, so if in she radio will fire, win, are you going to be down there? Yes, and I'll be sad. But the only person here at Radio on Fire that I'm aware of that supports Stephanie Rollins Blake is me. Everybody <laughs> else is on some <laughs> Sheila Dixon shit, and that's fine because I mean you know you got winners and you got losers. All right, and just like you thought, I'm going to say just losers. like you thought the Heat was going to win again. They did not. They no, did I didn't not. think that this year. I didn't think that this year. What was that last year? That was last year. Mm. All right. Closing All right. out. Yeah. So, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show. We covered a couple things. Confederate flag. Uh, Bobby Christina. <laughs> Stephanie Rollins. -Blake. Sheila versus Stephanie. She Sheila. Sticky Fingers Dixon. Oh, my God. <laughs> she Stephanie Percocet yeah. Rollins. Yeah. So this is what she been doing. <laughs> here's, here's what Sheila Dixon, she practices this. Like she practices the uh, flipping the gift card up. Flipping it out. She's yeah, she going to be fast this time. She's going to be ready this time. Next time she should just send somebody. Then she did it. How she didn't even send nobody else. Think about it. Yeah, how you she was in there like. Your, your, your city's she's in. She's looking over her glasses like. Your city's in distress. And you gonna come on TV looking Both like you me. had like ten Xanax, a shot of Patron, and some perks. Okay, why y'all so hard? Out? Why y'all so hard out? on this black? She woman? She was stressed out. Y'all too hard out. on this black woman. 
the the white governor. Why did you have your glasses hanging down? Because like that, that was me imitating uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sheila Dixon. This is how Sheila. This is how they call Sheila Dixon. <laughs> 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 I don't have no gift cards. <laughs> I don't have no gift cards. I'm done with you. I am done with you. She does look over the top of her glass like that. She's really she crazy. She be looking crazy. Yeah, she she probably near sighted and stuff. She don't need them for everything. Can you picture? Like can you picture her and her husband getting it all? No, I don't want to. <laughs> She's on the bed like. <laughs> <laughs> he like. <laughs> I'll be, out, I'll be out in a minute. I can't get the glasses. You need to take those glasses off. She, she probably got a funny, she probably wear a funny bonnet. She probably got different type of glasses funny, that she, she wear. She probably like wear funny bonnets. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Seven. Seven. See that black thing right there? Or that chair? Can you pass me that? <laughs> yes, take that stuff off. Pass me that. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. What Thank is you. that? A chef hat? This is the <laughs> Sheila Dixon bonnet. <laughs> Sheila you Dixon. What the hell? <laughs> Why do you look like rerun? <laughs> <laughs> this is the sh- this is the Sheila Dixon bonnet. What? <laughs> Light skin guys should not wear these bonnets. <laughs> Okay. This is a Sheila you Dixon. You look like a hairstylist from <laughs> 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 Yeah. Okay. We, we gotta go. <laughs> okay, Pierre. Uh, <laughs> I'm not voting for Sheila Dixon. No way, Jose. I need my gift cards. <laughs> All right. Thank you. We gotta go. You're you sorry.